First of all, I want to say a massive thank you uh, to all you guys out there who have been following me. You know, you've been uh, liking my videos, you've been subscribing and stuff like that. Because without you guys, you know, um, none of this would actually even be possible in the slightest. So, um, you know, forget me verified on Twitter, which you guys obviously saw, which I probably got off the screen now. So I can probably move back into the middle. Uh, without you guys, obviously, none of this would have been able to happen. And um, I am genuinely, genuinely really grateful from the bottom of my heart that I, everything I've achieved so far. I understand that and realise that my content is not as good as I want it to be at the minute. Um, and I'm really going to try and, you know, I'm really working on a few ideas to try and make it better this year. You know, real life football, Sunday League stuff, a new FIFA series with, get, with gameplay and stuff, which you guys um, have been asking to see so we'll talk about more, more about that at the end of the video but i just want to start off the video with a massive thank you so today we're starting off a video with the best january transfers of all time we've got some great clips for every single player so make sure you stick around make sure you drop a like as well if you want to see more of this and if you get 3,000 likes in this video we'll bring you guys the worst january transfers there's ever been all right so literally i, I they're gonna be some awful ones trust me if you guys want any ultimate team coins before you start the video check out golder.com in the description down below they have coins to all different platforms use code rossi as well to check out so the first player we're going to be looking at is Jack Butler. Now, um, Stoke signed this guy from Birmingham City um, for a literally a four and a half year deal. So a pretty long term deal. They actually signed him on January the 31st. All right. So this is a last day deal. Now, it looks like he could be going on to be the next England goalkeeper. OK, um, he's made some like appearances for England and stuff already. I mean, for all the different England under 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You, you name it. He's been there. But he looks like he's going to be the next England goalkeeper. So you got to say that's probably one of the best January transfer. Right, it's going to be the next best goal, you know, England goalie. And, um, you know, Stoke signed him and stuff. Fair play to him. He's in the team as though. The goalkeeper was quite tricky to choose. So this one is pretty damn interesting, right? Uh, one of the best ones for me personally being a Man United fan. And um, obviously a lot of everyone knows Ever. Don't they? Everyone knows Ever. So Man United signed him in January. Um, literally like 2006 or something like that. For signing him for £5.5 million. Pounds. Apparently he was going to move to somewhere else. But, you know, he wanted to move to England instead. And since Man United signed him for like £5.5 million. They only signed him in a three and a half year contract then. He went on to play for Man United for, you know, a further eight years, making 273 appearances and seven goals. So, I remember one season, he was the only Man United player that played every single game of the season. So, you've got to be honest, that's a pretty decent January transfer left back. Probably one of the best ever has been, will be. So, this guy was at Spartak Moscow. Now, this guy is a no messing about mid um, defender, sorry, at least a midfielder then. That would have been pretty costly. So, Man United signed him for £7 million in 2005. And, um, you know, work permit was granted and stuff. Apparently, Man United were interested in him for two and a half years. And, um... You know, they finally signed him after that. But either way, he went on to make eight years at Manchester United as well. 211 appearances in eight years and 15 goals. Um, he was captain for the side for a lot of years and stuff. He won a lot of trophies, Champions Leagues, you know, Premier Leagues and stuff like that. £7 million, one of the best centre-backs in the world. You've got to be honest, that is a bargain. Welcome to the new team of the year, Thiago Silva card now in the, obviously, FIFA game mode. So... We're going to take a look at his January transfer, um, transfer obviously, I just said it twice. Milan signed him from Fluminense now um, for literally 10 million euros, so what would that be, like 7, 8 million pounds or something like that. And since then, he's gone on to do, you know, amazing things at Milan, 93 appearances at Milan, 96 at um, PSG so far. Five goals for each club though, basically that same game to goal ratio, which is pretty damn interesting. And he's probably one of the most highest valued defenders in the world at the minute, all right? So we went from a 10 million euro to probably, I don't know, maybe like clubs these days are pay like 70 million for him. That's just how stupid this got these days. But um, that has got to be one of the best, you know, money transfers, January transfers, surely. Logo Motive Moscow, 54 appearances for them, five goals for them. But then we go to Chelsea, right, which he signed for. And this is Ivanovic, by the way, if you guys haven't worked out on the screen yet. The stuff he's done at Chelsea is literally amazing. So apparently, um, you know, Chelsea beat competition from Milan, Ajax, Juventus, into Milan and stuff. And apparently the transfer fee was undisclosed, but apparently they reckon it's about £9 million. And, you know, it was, it's, it's incredible, right? It's incredible because the stuff he's gone on to achieve at Chelsea since then, for that short amount of money, is insane. Now, I know form or whatever, he's dipped off a little bit recently and stuff like that, but you still can't take away the, the stuff he's won. Champions Leagues, Premier Leagues. 231 appearances, 21 goals. He's done it as centre back for them. He's done it for a right back. He's probably played left back for them. And for, for like nine million pounds, really, that is—I mean, in modern day football, that is one of the best signings. Who would have thought it? Hey, 
Mares is one of the best January transfers ever, which some of you guys may not even know because, you know, you only really heard his name maybe this year or something. Um, if you're just a general football fan and not too interested in Leicester or whatever. But a 24-year-old signed from Le Havre, Le Havre, I'm not sure you pronounce it, to Leicester in January 2014, which is two years ago now. Um, and he signed a three and a half year deal, which is not too long. You know, it's not a really long term contract for like £400,000, all right? And they're saying now that he's worth £40 million, all right? £400,000, £40 million in two years. If that isn't one of the best transfers, a general transfers ever has been, if, you know, say Man United sign him or someone like that sign him for like 40, 50 million, then that just puts the cherry on the cake. But that's how much he's valued at the minute, which is incredible. So it didn't work out the first time he was at Chelsea, which, um, you know, is a little bit disappointing for him. But the second time he joined, 72 appearances, two goals so far for him in a minute. He signed on January the 15th, 21 million pound, which is probably one of the most more expensive ones of this squad. Four and a half year contract, which is pretty incredible. But the stuff he's done, right? The way he's helped Chelsea win the Premier League and stuff since then he's joined is, you know, he just, he, he was like the light, he was like, I don't, I don't even know how you explain it, he was just like the, one of the best players in the Premier League when they won, they won the league that year. So credit to Matic, didn't work from the first time at Chelsea, he gave it a pop, went there a second time, and you know, he, uh, he made it work, and he made it happen for him. So this guy, you may be thinking, Barcelona didn't sign him in January, it was in July. Well, to be honest, or well, well it was in June actually, to be honest, I'll take that back. When Seville signed him from Schalke, that was in January, and that's what we're going to talk about because, um, you know, the stuff we're seeing now from him, you know, winning the league, uh, uh, Champions Leagues, and, I mean, the stuff he's doing with Barcelona and stuff is literally incredible. So that move, and this is, like, on a personal level, okay? This isn't a big money move like some of them. This is on a personal move. That move from Schalke to Seville and that few seasons, you know, in the Spanish league meant he went moved to Barcelona was incredible for him because now he's at the top of the game. This is a high personal level one. You guys might respect this one. He's done very, very well. So in December 2006, the Spanish club Real Madrid signed Higuain. Obviously, he didn't make his debut until January when the transfer window opened. They signed him for 12 million euros, right? Which is not a lot of money. It's like 9, 10 million or whatever. But, you know, the stuff he achieved at Real Madrid, we all know is pretty good. The stuff he's done for Argentina, we know is pretty good. You know, World Cup finals and stuff like that. But he's now, he went to Napoli and they signed him for 40 million euros. So, went from 12 million to 40 million euros. So, that January transfer from River Plate to Real Madrid was a highly profitable one for another world-class player that's played at the absolute highest level. World Cup finals, Champions League finals, whatever, Real Madrid... Argentina, he's done it. Okay, so we've got Luis Suarez, you know, possibly the best striker in the world at the moment, right? We've got Luis Suarez, he went from Ajax to Liverpool, and um, what was it, 22.8 million pounds, most expensive sign at the time, and then Andy Carroll beat him a few hours later, look what happened there. We've gone from 22.8 million pounds to like, what was it, what did he sign for the Real Barcelona? Let's have a look, the, the fee was literally stupid 75 million so from 22 to 75 million so like 50 million profit or whatever andy carroll 35 million and they sold him for like what 20 um so two players at the same time one excelled one didn't and luis suarez is now one of the best strikers in the world so you gotta be honest that signing for liverpool made him you know made liverpool all that money so fair play liverpool shout out liverpool for that and also created one of the best strikers in the world so um that has got to be one of the best strength transfers of this whole video and the whole squad so this guy one fran i think that's how you pronounce it on january the 11th 2011 one fran signed for atletico madrid all right four million euros so not big money at all and now you know he was that was like he was trained as a winger back then or something like that. Now he's a right back, one of the best right backs for Spain. He's played a lot, you know, 15 games for Spain, which is not loads, but I think quite a few, you know, recent recent years or whatever. Um, but Atletico Madrid, what he's achieved there, you know, he's achieved the league, right? <clears throat> which is incredible. He was a big part of that Atletico Madrid win and um, Champions League final. So this is a pretty good one, four million euros. Builds this player here, um, who's won so much them so far. 
And I know he's 31, might not go to win a lot more, but um, still, it's an awesome signing to see. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you do drop a thumbs up and a like down below. We get 3,000 likes. I'll bring you guys the worst January transfers you are ever going to see. I promise you they're going to be just rubbish. So, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe for more FIFA 16 videos. And I just want to take this minute to talk to you guys, like I said I would do. Um, so, I want to produce better content on my channel. You know, I want to produce more FIFA gameplay stuff, more real-life football stuff. Um, you know, all stuff I really want to do and I'm, I'm inspiring to do and I need your help for that So if I make the good content, you know, I'll uh, you guys can let me know with that one I want to make sort of a games I, I don't want to go into too much detail with FIFA, but I'm gonna have a few bits done a few bit of work done It's gonna cost me a bit of money, but it's totally worth it if you guys enjoy it So let me know in the comments down below which is the FIFA series or video you want me to make the most and I'll try and do that for you anyway. I don't care if it gets one like on your comment and it's just you who wants it. I might even try and do it still. Because, you know, just, you know, I can upload whatever I want, whenever I want, how many videos I want. So I'll try and make it happen. Anyway, guys, have a good weekend. Has been a pleasure as always. Peace.